Hi Scorpio, welcome on my uh, channel, the Beauty Master of Scorpio. Welcome for this reading of October 2023. Keep in mind, uh, Scorpio, this is a general reading, probably won't know resonate for all of you, but if you do like my channel, please like, share and subscribe. I will be very thankful and grateful to support my channel. If you want to have a prayer reading with me, you'll find all the information on my description box below and uh, then something else for who doesn't know i have another uh, youtube channel uh, the italian style tarot by catch it up i will link the um, i will link uh, this youtube channel also on my info box uh, this is a channel that i read for all uh, the sign and uh, if you wanted to go check there also if you don't know for who doesn't know uh, you are welcome also there Today I do um, something special, uh, I want to do with uh, love, I don't know why I, I uh, wake up this morning and said I need to do it. something with love, not something, with love, but love can be about everything, uh, about love for your friends, love for your family, love for your romantic person, love for the, your life in general, love for children. What I, what I love also for your job, but I wanted to do that today really, really speci uh, specific. So sit down if you want, or do your stuff and put your heads up, heads up, heads up, <laughs> and do your stuff and listen to me if you want. <laughs> oh, I hope you're doing fantastic, Scorpio, wherever you are in the world. Let me know, please, in the comments from where you are in the world. I'm so curious. For who doesn't know, I'm in Switzerland located. And uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's jump in. My love team, please give me for Scorpio. Give me about love. What they love. What brings Scorpio today here for, with me? My love team. I do first um, with the astrolog astrolog uh, astrology uh, card. You have the Lilith, wild uh, femini femininity. And then, give me more. You have Saturn. And you have the Sun. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is a very significant card, Scorpio. I need to say that. It doesn't matter what, whatever we talk about today. Um, it's something wild that you love, uh, good or bad. So you, um, it's something that you tell me, I love this, uh, this situation or this energy. It doesn't matter what, light and dark. Um, the moon underneath, uh, wow, 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 wow. With I pick it up right away, the un unconditional love, Scorpio. With the moon, it's feelings and subconscious. It's deep inside of you. It could be that you have cancer in your chart. Or there could be also Capricorn with Saturn, Sun, Leo. Or this is something significant that this other energy is carrying Capricorn. Or uh, something that you met uh, this energy in Capricorn season, Leo season, Moon, se uh, moon season, <laughs> no, the um, uh, Cancer season. But with Lilith also, it's um, healing, healing. But also the deep understanding, Scorpio, the deep understanding for an energy that I think and I believe that no one can understand something that you love, really unconditional. Guys, we're talking here about the deepest love. We're talking about something that through the lens of this energy, you see the sunshine. You feel when you see this energy or it's like a fresh breath air with all the secret, with all the deepest meaning good or bad it doesn't matter what that still is something that you care love the moon it's um uh, ruled by cancer so cancer it's a person uh, it's a personality it's a character that really um 
you know, the care, like for, for example, care for a mother, it doesn't matter what is present, the child is caring. They will do it in conditional love anyway. It's about nature, this uh, whatever they love. The sun is protection. We feel protect with the sun. When the sunshine it's uh, hit us uh, in a good way, it's like we feel warm. We feel protect. We want to give protection. Saturn, but still we want to be very determined, but also serious. Saturn is the master of uh, serious, to be serious with. I, but also you give this energy, the, um, the energy of, I want to let you grow up. Let's grow up together. I want that you teach, the, the Saturn is a teach, a master. It's the, the planet of, we have to learn. I want to teach you, you teach me. But let's be serious. I want to be serious. And Lilith, it's wild. It's also very passion. But it's like a big mix here of uh, un unconditional love, Scorpio. This is fantastic. It's beautiful. Underneath of the moon, we have the 10th house, career and success. But the 10th house doesn't have to be all the time uh, career. Uh, this is also your status, how you want to present yourself with them. Of course, could be also, we talk about something that you love unconditional with your career, but I think also really underneath is about the status that you want to present to the world um, with this energy, or is it an officialized, let's officialize. Or it's nothing but the most beautiful thing that can happen to officialize our love, to the, or I want to officialize uh, my love that I have for this situation or a person here. This is beautiful, Scorpio. I need to say that. Beautiful. So I want to keep, I want to put now um, three keeper cards for Lilith, um, the Saturn, and the Sun. My love team, please give me Lilith. No, this is not a keeper. This is Lenormand card. Pardon. A woman. Uh, number 29, the moon on top of Saturn. I show you that in your eyes. Give me the sun. The fountain. I don't know if you say like that, like go deep inside. I have to show you guys because I don't know if you say like that, the fountain. <laughs> like, you know, the deep where you find, where you take the, the water, where you find really the deepest. And uh, the flower on the knees, this is uh, the gift of the universe, uh, Scorpio, this is uh, magical. Uh, the woman, it um, could be also you care a lot of fem femininity if you are, uh, even if you are a man, it doesn't matter. This is not gender specific, right? We know. But with the moon and Saturn, this is just... Guys, I have chills because you show me with this energy. You love also the negative, also the deepest negative, the deepest dark shadow of this energy. You love it in condition. It doesn't matter what you're going to protect. And this is what it's extremely beautiful, Scorpio. And I don't know which words more I can take. The, the deepest of this connection, of this situation, or whatever you feel that you connect with this, this belongs to you, Scorpio. This belongs to you. It doesn't matter now what. Or something that you create, or uh, it's a business, or it's a career, or you're starting to, your own, you're starting to build your own business, family member, uh, children, or you just, or uh, get pregnant, or now you just get birth from uh, a child, um, or uh, a person, romantic person, I don't know, but this is whatever you feel for this energy or for this situation, this is deepest, and no one can touch it because you protect that. And you, you I used to tell me that also, Scorpio, because you went deep 
with this energy. You went deep inside. You f you took this. I, I mean, you know, have twice the moon, and with the fountain there, it's like you went deep on this situation that no one like Pluto. I don't have Pluto here, but Pluto, you know, it's gone deep to escape everything about this energy that only you can do, Scorpio. Now, and others, another thing, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever you have in Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your, um, your reading. Um, either you're not Scorpio, you're still welcome. <laughs> either you're not Scorpio. But I need to say, and with the flower, this is the gift of the universe. And it doesn't matter what is happening, really doesn't matter what is happening uh, with the situation, it belongs to you. You're protecting, and you know that this is a gift of uh, the universe. All right, beautiful. Um, yes, let's continue with this, uh, with this uh, deck. All right, I start now. Let's see what's going on. My love team, please give me for um, Scorpio. <clears throat> King of Swords, Six of Swords, give me the recent past. Ten of Pentacles. I have three, what do I do? I take this for uh, the challenge. Knight of Swords and the Devil for the challenge. Give me the possible outcome. Page of uh, Swords. The Seven of Cups for the possible outcome. The Seven of Wands on the knees. I see right away a teachment. Or you open up, or you want it, or you open your eyes right away. You open your eyes after. Uh, something with a ten of pentacles. This is this is it. This is what I want. Stability, happiness, like the fair tale of our life, but stable. With the ten of pentacles on the recent past is also everything what I want is here, like jackpot of your life. On the current with the King of Swords and you focus the Six of Swords, you are almost saying, I have to release something. I don't know yet what I have to release. Um, it's something that is not belonging, belonging to me, but I have my good reason to move on or to release for a bit or to have a minute for myself or to let reflect the situation. I don't know about yet. <clears throat> Tower. For the new future, something shocking, uh, something surprising could be good or bad. Uh, this is your, this is your Uranus. So Uranus is coming. Take it, make it. Something is shaking up, and uh, and it's done. So you don't have any control about the tower, Scorpio. But could be good, but could be also bad. The challenge, the Knight of Swords and the Devil. Feels almost like you run away. You run, so you run, or you're running away from a devil here, from a situation. You say, someone have to make this move. I have to make this move to detach completely from this devil energy. That it's interference, my unconditional love. It's something here that you have to run away. No walk, but run away. Like I have to go run away. <clears throat> Because otherwise, it's something that will still pulling you uh, in this bad energy. Page of Swords for the possible outcome. It's, it's a teachment here. We talk about a teachment. I don't know if you want to teach someone or it's a teachment for you. Or this is like a teachment for this unconditional love that you say, I don't have any power anymore, I release. Seven of Cups for the, um, for the over energy. I see you a little bit, I don't know, I have to clarify, it could be a confusion, but I see a lot of options. I pick it up in a way like more about an option, more like a lot of options. We have a lot of options, I have a lot of options, 
but depends on me or depends on us. I don't know, it depends on, it could be also about the situ uh, situation. Let's clarify, Scorpio. My love team, please give me the seven of uh, cups for the over energy. The Ace of Pentacles, uh, that the Ace of Pentacles on the knees, Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands. <clears throat> you are coming in a way that you're saying we have plan of option. Uh, it depends us how we want to uh, come forward with this option. Um, if we value evaluate this option, um, but. You're saying we have, so you're not blocking yourself. I we have or I have a lot of option, but not anymore, or I don't want anymore something that happened like in the past, or it's something that you tell me the way that I did that until now have to change, but not because you tell me about that you are mad or like. But because you know that in this type around or in this condition, it's not going nowhere. It's like we know if we continue like that, we we um, we block our possibility. So it's something here. They say I have to try <clears throat> in all my possibility to make the change because I buy this option. All because we have a lot of option, <clears throat> or the situation bring me. A lot of option if I change the way and be constantly I will be constantly you know constant to you know still keep going either it's heavy ten having, having there the ten of wands Scorpio it's it's not easy it's it's not an easy homework that you do but because you are really standing your ground you say we have option, we have the possibility to change stuff in our life, I will do it different than before. All right, give me the 10 of uh, pentacles for the recent past. Three of swords on the knees, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, and the eight of pentacles. You tell me in the past, um, you hoped, besides something that was stable or was create of stability, or for you it felt stable, beside that you were working on something about yourself. Um, let me still manage my life, my independence, my happiness, entertainment, myself. And you knew that already in the past was something that you knew already that had to be constantly making something through. So you were working, you were believing something beside about something, something else that you wanted to create. Because you're saying, I cannot concentrate myself only in a situation or a person, but beside that, I want to also continue my, my life. So you were starting already to understand that you had to manage also uh, something about that was important for you because you learned something about the past. With the three of swords, you show me, yeah, because I, I burn already myself metaphoric. I burn already and I know how this feels if I put my energy all in one, in everything, I don't put anything in, uh, in myself. So you, you had a big um, knowing already back then to manage uh, your entire life. The Knight of uh, Swords for the current, the Empress, the Seven of Cups, it's taking here. Give me the Six of Swords before I say something for the focus. Six of 
seven of swords on the knees. This is unbelievable. You have the Empress, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, and for the focus you have Four of Swords, Chariot, and the Nine of uh, Wands. On the knee, Seven of Swords, if I didn't say it. Condition, interference, is not belong to you anymore. I don't know about what we talk about here, about this unconditional love, I see here unconditional love for sure. But you're saying, I have to release. I have to release. And this is big now, Scorpio. I have to release to know if this is mine. We talk about big maturity, Scorpio. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. We talk about that you know if this option or this energy it want to share the option that you want to share or you have on your life and they want to participate on your option, on your manifestation to create a beautiful um, life tree, if you say like that. I call the seven of cups sometimes for me it's a life tree but don't be in illusion or disillusion for the situation here that you're in, you tell me I have to release. I have to let it go. Either probably a person situation is not understanding my point or they don't want to understand my point. I have to release to know if this is really mine or this is really destined to be together, or that is fated to be together. Because what for sure you know that you cannot anymore want to interfere in a person or a situation or force this energy into your life. Because if you get it, all you manner, you know, you, you take this, this energy on and you hold it very tight, you never will know if this ever was yours. It's a, we talk about a big maturity, Scorpio. It's, um, not everyone can do it because the most of the people, they are very egoist, very egocentric, like, no, no, I want to keep it because it's mine and I want to keep it mine. I don't want to release and you do the opposite, Scorpio. You want to understand if this is really yours in your life, then will come by themselves. But without your, without your um, power, because I've taken here the Seven of Cups here on the current, either sometimes, you thinking, I hope this energy will understand. Now it could be energy, it could be situation, it could be a person. The point that they are not mad about that I'm released, but they understand why I'm doing that. That they are taking their time to reflect if this is destined. Give me the tower. Queen of Wands, Emperor, Six of Cups on the knees, Queen of Wands, Emperor and the Two of Swords. It's un the unconditional love here. We talk about a person or a situation uh, will come and you won't see it, shake things out, uh, come talk to you like no tomorrow. What I want to put down and I will do it now. 
I want to put another one, I need to see clear. Because this, this energy is telling me, that could be also you, that it doesn't matter what is happening, I'm here. It doesn't matter what happened, we belong together. Because this is unconditional love. So it's a soulmate, it's something here that you are, you know that the perfect match. Either I don't have yet, yeah, I have the Empress here. But probably they don't see you as the Empress. Probably they see you as the Queen of Wands that still has potential or uh, like, you know, like not a typical page or a knight. But like, I need to see clear. I want to see clear. But now I want to put another deck here to see what is about this emperor and this about this uh, queen of uh, wands, two of swords. Give me more information. I want to see clear. The three of pentacles. Give me more. The hanging man in reverse. The last one. Your two. The sun I have it here, and the four of cups. Wow. Okay. And the four of pentacles on the knees. Feels almost that this energy that you are uh, releasing, or a situation you're releasing. They want to have more clarity, or no clarity. They are saying, Scorpio, teach me. Teach me how you do that. Teach me how, because it feels here that as someone here wants to have the same level, or they want to be in the same level, and they try everything to be on your level. So someone is asking you, teach me, show me, I want to see clear, I need to observe everything what's around, what is going on, but feels here also that now someone knows or a situation knows why you're releasing. Because having here the Four of Cups, this energy is starting to understand, now I get the point of Scorpio. Because Scorpio did, is not making something about like the grass is greener, I'm there and feel better, I can profit there better, or I don't want you anymore because I've got bored, or because you are not important. You do all the opposite. To release, it's a master number. It's a master of master. I have a big respect, Scorpio. You're releasing to let someone understand if they want the same with you, if they are on the same level, emperor and empress, like you, or not. Because they cannot consider you as the queen of wands. They consider you as an empress because you are now the empress, because you are the maturity of the, the mass of the master, Scorpio. And you know me, right? I don't say that for, um, to pleasing you. But this energy is having also like, you know, when they got to, when they mature or it's a, it's a situation like when it's mature, when it's a possibility to be mature, they are mature. But sometimes they, f they tr are trapped in a manner or in a way like to be a queen of want or like to, to not be the master. It's up to them, up to this situation, to understand what is your point because you're releasing. You're not releasing just to because release and you are wake up in the morning, you're boring and you're saying, I'm freaking boring, I don't know what to do, I release. No. You have your big history behind that. And it's something here that, you, that they want you to know, teach me. It feels almost like they see you as like um, an, uh, a master, like beautiful Scorpio. I need to say that beautiful. Give me the Knight of Swords and the Devil for the challenge. The Fool. Temperance and the Three of Cups, and the Hermit on the knees. Either it's challenge, or he, I don't know when it happened, but it's this challenge because he's saying, I risk everything. During that I'm released, I'm 
know I risk my life. I know I risk everything what I create. It could be also this time of pandemic, or this stability, or this wanting to have everything uh, in, you know, in one thing. But if an energy or this situation or a person knows the intention why I'm releasing, they will free themselves from this devil. They will heal hermit. They will heal this independence, this addiction, this um, mindset, negative mindset, devil, devil energy, right? We know about, about devil. And it's now about their point or it's their responsibility. They need to know if they want to free themselves beyond from this devil to get Michelangelo, eh, Michelangelo, uh, Angel um, Michael, Arcangelo Michael, Arcangelo Michele. You know what I mean? They have to understand the point why I'm released because if I will keep going like that, nothing will happen. It could be also that we talk about a child, uh, Scorpio, that you have difficulty with a child. That probably they have to go with their own path. It could be that we talk about, um, I don't know, if you are, for example, if you love your job, but uh, you have to quit because uh, you know that many things, it's not going the way they're supposed to. You have to uh, fire a person because this energy, um, has addiction with drugs, with alcohol, they are very unpunctual. You have to quit, um, fight them that they are healing. Could be also romantic. That you put so much effort and it's still not working, but because it's so unconditional love that you feel for this energy, you have to release. To make them their healing, that they have to. Because you cannot heal them. They have to heal themselves. They have to understand where is the issue because you did enough to have this reconciliation or to rebring this back together. They have to do their thing. Either for you it's challenging, but you say, I have to release to know if this is mine, if this is, you know, destined. Because you know that this is because the, the love is unconditional, uh, Scorpio. You love this situation, this person, this uh, uh, this energy, not more than you because you respect yourself a lot. But you know that it doesn't matter if they heal or not. You will love them eternal, eternal. You will love them. Give me the page of swords. Four of wands. Five of Pentacles and the Magician, Page of Wands on the knees, yeah. The Teachment, you are the Guru for this energy. You are like, either probably from far away, you want to teach them. And I think this energy or this person will understand the point why you had to release. They, they're starting to understand. Either they felt or they feeling abandoned from you or because you had to fire them or because you had to bring, uh, bring this energy to the rehab or because you had to say goodbye, I, I have to let it go. But this energy will understand, but also you will understand because I see here the communication, Scorpio. Almost like, feels to me, Scorpio, feels like knocking on the door. They will knock on the door and say, thank you for your teachment. Now I get your point. Now I get your unconditional love. Because I change. Because you want to take me away from this devil. You wanted to energetically, but also um, either from the far, you wanted to help me out too. You know how easy it is to say all the time, uh, Scorpio, you know that. You know, for example, if you have children, you say all the time, yes, mom, I want that, yes, mom, I want that, yes, mom, can you do it? Yes, sure. You make any favor to your children. On that, in reverse, you, the teachment, the education, it comes for and no, it starts for and no. But of course, you have to tell them also why you say no. 
the reason why you say no. Mom, why, um, why you, I cannot drink everyday Coke? You cannot say only no. You say Coke because lots of sugar, no good for the teeth, no good for your health, drink more water. You can have Coke once a week, but no every day because I like also Coke. Mom, because uh, why you why don't let me go out until midnight? How old are you? Are you 18? Are you 20? Uh, no, you're still 15, 16, you know? So no, at time you're home because everything has their time. With a no, Scorpio, and you know that, we can change world, then it's not our power anymore because you release your power, you release, you're saying if they don't understand, I need to understand for myself to release and to know if it was mine or if it's really mine, because if it's mine, this energy will understand by themselves and not because you want it, you're stubborn, you say they have to return, they have to do it there first, no, we don't talk about anything about that. We talk about that you want to teach them something because you are the empress, you are the teacher. You want to teach lesson of the life. We don't talk that you are the perfect one, Scorpio. We don't, we don't talk about that. But something here you say, because I love them so unconditional, I have to release. They will understand by themselves if we are man to be together or not or if we have to go to separate way mama need a bag of scorpio this is uh it's amazing it's uh, i've chills all over the place um it's unbelievable my love team please give me an advice for my scorpio Seven of Wands um, on the knees. You have Temperance, the Emperor, and the Eight of Swords. Of course, sometimes you are uh, also questioning if you did the right thing, or if you are too hard with this energy, or you were too hard, or if this is the right path. Because sometimes when we take a big decision, or we have... Um, we taking charge about taking position. We are responsible about our decision, right? And of course, sometimes you say, "Did I did I make the right thing?" I don't know. You know, sometimes you're questioning, or because or you are too hard. But this is very normal, Scorpio. This is so freaking normal that you think about it. But believe me, having here that emperor and the uh, the temperance. You show me that you don't have any choice but to release and then you will see if this will be a happy end or not but either if it's not a happy end this unconditional love it will be here eternal for you all right scorpio hope i can help you i'll come soon uh, very soon with my next reading uh, take care stay safe and uh,